I got another smoking workout for you guys to do. This is a five minute workout designed to help you develop masterful flow around the drums. You want to flow like the champs, like water around the kit. This is the exercise that you need to see. So we're going to be sitting around the drums for this one in particular. So the first half of this video, I'm going to show you the, uh, the sticking and show you exactly how to do this. The second half of this video is going to be the actual five minute exercise that we're going to do together. So yeah, you're definitely going to be want to, want to be sitting around your kit for, um, for the second half of this video. So for now, watch this cool intro and I'll see you in 10 seconds. So this is definitely a favorite thing of mine to do when I'm sitting down here on the drums. And I'm not necessarily working on anything specific. Sometimes I just like to come down here and just work on flow and fluidity around the drums. Because to be honest, I like when people tell me that I make it look easy. And this type of exercise is going to have people telling you the same thing. So in this particular case, we're going to do this exercise as a five minute workout. It works great for that nice little jogging pace that we're going to do around the drums. And, um, and it's really, it's one of those things that's super simple, but super effective. So the sticking, it's a 16 note exercise or 16 note phrase. I guess we can uh, think of it as that. And it's basically two groups of eight kind of stuck together. So splitting it in half, the first half is right, left, right, left, right, left, right foot. And then the second half or the second eight notes, right, left, right, left, right, left, left foot. So you put those two together, you get this cool little 16 note phrase. Looks like this when you play it. Now, of course, after you learn the sticking, the next thing we're going to do is break it up. We're going to break it up between the toms, and this is what we're going to use to help develop our flow. So the way we break it up is actually real simple. Again, let's chop it up. First eight notes. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, foot. All right? So two, two, three, foot. And the second half of this exercise is going to be played on the floor tom, rack one, and the snare. If you're only on a four-piece kit, then you can just start the exercise on the snare and go this way. Um, so, you know, from snare to tom one to your floor tom, and you're going to be playing that triangle. We're going to be playing, for those of us on five-piece kits, we're going to be playing the full square.
Now, an important thing to note. I don't want you to blindly just run into this workout without giving any thought or consideration as to how you're going to be playing it, okay? We're going to be focusing on our sticking, our dynamics, you know what I'm saying? Um, our coordination, like all of that stuff. We want to make sure that everything, like the lifts and the levels and everything is right. Remember, we're going for flow here. So as far as how you play it, all right, I really want you to relax your entire body, especially the hands. Loose hands, super important, okay? So when you're moving the sticks around the drums, I want you to almost sort of imagine these as if they're made of rubber, like soft rubber. And I want you to literally sort of visualize yourself making waves with these sticks as you're moving around the drums. When you start doing this at a slower tempo, it's going to feel the same when you speed it up. This is how you flow like the champs, man. So take this part seriously. So yeah, start at a slower tempo. You know, play the entire phrase, just loop it around the drums, okay? Um, and then another important thing, the notes that you play on the snare, ghost notes. Keep them nice and small, all right? Um, moderate volume, medium volume when you're playing your toms, but on the snare, man, keep those notes nice and small. So now you know how to do it. That's the end of the first half of this video. Now I want you to get around your kit. If you have somewhere where you can clip your phone on to something or put it on a stand or something, if you have it beside your kit or in front of your kit, we're gonna do this exercise together for five minutes at 120 beats per minute.
All right. Good job, man. Now, I'm going to show you a very cool, super effective variation of this workout. This one I call the 1 and 10. The 1 and the 10 is referring to volume level. So we're going to split this up volume-wise from one extreme to the next, okay? So we're going to do this in a two-bar flip. For two bars, we're going to play it full volume, volume 10. So hit your toms nice and loud. The second two bars, volume 1. So you're going to play the toms really nice and quiet. So you're going to pull back and just touch the toms. This is going to do amazing things for your touch on the kit and your flow. told you was going to love this workout, right? So what makes this thing awesome? The reason why this exercise or this workout is so awesome, because it's so effective and its simplicity is ridiculous. You're working on so many things at the same time, your stick control, your flow around the drums, your coordination with that one bass drum note we're throwing in there. If you really want to make it challenging, you can do quarters on the hats. You can do offbeats on the hats. Um, the ghost notes that we're playing on the snare, it's got that one double in there. So there's that sort of level of control. There's just so many things that you're working on. And all of this is applicable to your normal playing. So you might not understand what the effects are right away. But I'll tell you, three months from now, when you go to play a fill, you're going to be like, holy smokes. You're going to flow right into it and flow right back out of it. That's the whole point of this exercise. When you start playing phrases and solos and all that kind of thing, man, the more advanced you get on the instrument, the more you're going to feel the effects of just doing this for five minutes, occasionally, you know, or wherever you feel like doing it when you're practicing. Remember, don't stiffen up when you play this exercise. Don't grip the sticks too tight. Have the loosest, most comfortable grip you can, right? Loose hands, 2018, that's what this thing's all about, right? That's gonna make the biggest difference when you play this exercise. Um, if you're too tense and too tight, it's gonna affect your endurance. You're not gonna be able to do it for five minutes without feeling some kind of tension somewhere. So just make sure you stay loose, man, stay loose, your entire body, relax, breathe while you're doing this. You might have noticed when you were watching, if you were watching me do it, you know, I'm taking breaths every once in a while and, um, and just relaxing, man. This is a very sort of zen, tai chi type thing. So there you go. Add that to your routine. Share this video if you dig it. Like, subscribe. See you next video.